Hello everyone. Okay, let's provide the solution to this problem. Square root of a over square root of a to the power of negative one equals four. Okay, this looks um confusing, but it is very simple. I'm going to do this in two ways. So let's look at the first method. First method. Okay, so for the first method, we have square root of a over square root of a to the power of negative one equals four. Now, this denominator here can be written in this form, one over square root of a because of this power there. Okay, this numerator is here. Square root of a to the power of negative 1 is this, and this is equal to 4. Now, still on the left hand side, this can be written as square root of a divided by 1 over square root of a, and this is equal to 4 on the other side. Now, what if I, you know, um, to turn this to multiplication, right? So we have square root of a multiplied by square root of a over 1. If you turn it to a, the, the next term here, you will, you're going to get the inverse, um, the inverse of the next term. And this is equal to 4. Now square root of a multiplied by square root of a is equal to 4. Now if you multiply these two, what do you have? You're going to have ordinary a and this is equal to 4. So this means that our a is equal to 4. Now, let me confirm something about this. Imagine this a here stands for, for 2. Let's say we have root 2 multiplied by root 2. This is expected to be equal to root 4. And square root of 4 is 2. So when you multiply root 2 times root 2, you get 2. Therefore, root a times root a is a. So this is our value using the first method. Now let's go straight to the second method. Okay, so this is the equation and we are looking at um, the second method. We are looking at the second method. Now the second method, we will apply um, another law of indices Let's say you have, um, if you have x to the power of b, this is b, over x to the power of c. This is the same thing as x to the power of b minus c because of the division, right? So I'm going to apply the same thing to this. So we'll now have Pick one of the bases. The base here we have um, root a and root a. So I'll pick root a. Then the power of the first term um, of the numerator there is 1. So that means we have 1. Then because of this, we'll have um, subtraction. So we have minus minus 1. This is equal to 4. I will explain that again. This denominator, I mean, this um, base and this are the same. So I'm going to pick one of that. But root a has an invisible power of 1, which is this. This subtraction brought about the first negative sign. Then this negative power of 1 is coming in the bracket. So root a to the power of 1 plus 1 is equal to 4. Now what I did is um, to you know open this bracket and we have that. So we mean that um, our root a now will be equal, okay root a to the power of 1 plus 1 is 2 will now be equal to 4. Right? But then square and the square root can always cancel. So our a now is equal to 4. And this is the value of a that should satisfy this equation, root a over root
put a to the power of negative 1 equals 4. Okay, let me put in 4 as the value of a. That means we have square root of 4 over square root of 4 to the power of negative 1. Now, this will give me 2 over here again we have 2 to the power of negative 1. Right? Then if I continue from here, we can now, um, okay, so we can say that this is 2 divided by 1 over 2. Because 2 to the power of negative 1 is 1 over 2. And this means we have 2 times 2 over 1, which will give us 4. So we are very correct to get our A as 4. Thank you for watching.